Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about a few news releases here that came out for the Cowboys. This is serious. Cabo time. Full effect. Quincy McDuffie has been released by the Cowboys. They brought in Ross Burbank Center out of UVA, one-year vet. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Cowboys look like they're trying to get a feel here for somebody that could be a legit center backup for Travis Frederick. They've been they continue to work Jonathan Cooper there at center. He's not getting so much uh, any looks there at the guard yet. Uh, it's pretty much clear he's been getting a lot of the looks there at the left guard position. Jonathan Cooper there at the center, and now they brought in another guy here for the center. So obviously the Cowboys. I'm not so sure they feel so good about uh, somebody coming in here and taking over for Frederick. They're looking for somebody, obviously. Okay, so but. McDuffie, the door is still open for him per his agent, so we'll see what, what happens here. Could be a courtesy thing here for the Cowboys. Go ahead and let him go. See if he can uh, stick here with another NFL team here. He has the return credentials, so I'm not sure why they let him go and not Whitehead. Whitehead hasn't done hasn't done squat, hasn't done anything um, other than he's been here a few seasons here. But uh, I think we all know where this is heading. Switz. Switzer here, he's going to pretty much take this out. How many receivers are they going to keep? That'll be the next question there. But uh, Whitehead, he's he's on his last days, so no, no doubt about it. All right. The other news here that we have, Jalen Smith, looking good. Continuing to look good in OTAs, looking the part, moving around, and getting in, into these drills here, okay, and uh, and holding up. All right, reports are he, he's not coming out of these limped up, banged up, anything like that. He's doing the full load, okay? They're doing the alternating days, full load. He's handling it, all right? So the body, the physicality of it, he's good here, okay? Now, the, what they're working on here now are the mechanics of the game. You know, he's pretty much uh, a rookie still. So learning the system here, the assignments, and that kind of thing, but... Things are looking good, okay? The other thing here, Demarcus Lawrence, he's back. He's trying to get some uh, reps here. You know, saying that uh, he wants to do good this season. We'll see, okay? We'll see. For me, I'm holding my breath. We got to see it from him, all right? You know, these guys that come in every season, hey, this is the year, I'm going to do this and that. He said the same thing last season. He really did. You go back and look at some of the quotes, said the exact same thing. That he was going to do this and that. Felt the best ever, this and that. Okay, man. Just show it on the field, and that's it, okay? No more talk. Get it done, and then that's it, okay? See if you can get yourself another contract. Or at least, you know, have enough film for an another team that will want to pick you up in free agency, all right? So do something, all right? Um, the, other guy, the other guy here that I'm more excited about here is Demontre Moore. Getting kudos here, okay? This guy's doing things. Getting around these tackles. This guy, I think, I think things are coming together for him, okay? He started out his career here a little rocky, you know, the Giants. But this guy gets to the quarterback. That's one thing about this guy. He has the traits here. If you, if you have a guy here that can get to the quarterback, Marinelli can work with that, okay? So, this is good, all right? I, li I like this news here coming out of uh, the reports here. Demontre Moore doing things, okay? Let's get him in the lineup here. Revenge on Eli Manning and the Giants. Let's stick him in the dirt where he belongs, all right? So that's good news there. The other news here that we have, the Cowboys will be back here for OTAs June 5th to the 7th. So that's Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then the following week, mandatory mini camp. The competition is going to go up another notch, okay? So, that's where we're at right now. Cowboys have um, close to $20 million, according to uh, Todd Archer, so for cap space. It doesn't look like they're going to go crazy on a spending spree here. I mean, they can if they want. They can make a trade if they want. There's all sorts of options here, but they may just stand pat here and just, you know, start delving out, handing out extensions. As the, as the season progresses, okay, so we know Zach Martin, his contract is in play. 
David Irving, <clears throat> we're going to see what he does, okay? Consistency. That's what we need from him, okay? Yes, he had a couple of big games here, but you got to stack game after game, okay? You can't disappear. That's that's what he needs to do this season. He's That's the next part of his game that he needs to step up. Be more consistent. Be harassing every game. All right, so that's what we need from David Irving there. If he can do that, him, you know, he may get a contract here, contract extension. That'll be good for us. Lyle Collins, same deal. This guy pretty much locked up the right tackle position here. They're trying out Chaz Green at left guard. I mean, like I said, they have all the bodies there. They're throwing, they're throwing all the bodies there at left guard, okay? Cleary, Looney, Chaz Green, and these kind of things. So we'll see what they do there at left guard. Battle Royale, okay? That's It's, it's going to go down here in minicamp, training camp. We're going to find out who wants it and who can play at a high level. All right, we can't just put somebody here. We need somebody that can, that's going to be good. All right, they got to they gotta gel with the rest of these guys. And it's a, it's a high order. It's a tall order for, for sure. No doubt about it. But that's it for now, guys. Um, that's after the news here today. Cowboys, most valuable team. $4 billion according to Forbes. What else can you say, okay? What else can you say? We follow the best team in the league. We have the best fans in the league. And that's it, you know? They hate us because they ain't us, as I say, right? So... That's it, guys. Thanks for following, subscribing, and sharing. Really appreciate you guys, and we'll be back here tomorrow with another video, okay? Thanks, guys.